Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. My name is Kelly, and we have another fantastic speaker with us here today, and I'm going to let her introduce herself. Hi, I'm Marcia Familaro Enright. I'm the head of the Reliance College Fund, and I run the Great Connections Seminar. So Martha here is very vested in um, the education and the truth that we purvey to our students and the young generation of the United States. And I would like just to ask how you are doing that across the country. Well, we've been running a program in the summer for the last 13 years in which we help students learn how to be uh, reason very well, how to think for themselves, and they're able to judge anything without an authority. They can read well, they can write well, and they have a lot of self-confidence when they come out of our program. Absolutely. Self-confidence is something that's much needed here, um, you know, in this younger generation. And I wanted to ask, since because, you know, there's a lot of entertainment and Hollywood, um, you know, products that are coming out. And great example is Top Gun Maverick. You know, there's a lot of Chinese companies that have vested interest in Hollywood and, you know, investing a lot of money so they could to have a large say in what's, you know, what goes on and what goes in those movies. So what do you have to say about their, um, you know, involvement in these um, Hollywood films? Well, it's like the involvement of so many people uh, on the authoritarian side, it's very detrimental. I, I wrote an article recently about what vision do young people need, and I compared the uh, movie the, the Joker to Top Gun Maverick, in which Top Gun Maverick does a great job of inspiring young people to be competent, to have optimism, to keep going and work hard. And it's a, it's a real contrast to something like The Joker, in which uh, a broken down, evil person is celebrated as, oh, he's a terrible victim. Uh, and it's certainly, that's the kind of thing that the authoritarians, like the CCP, push in order to demotivate young people in the United States. Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes there are just things that are on TV that's like not really good for the youngsters. And a lot what would of you things. say? Yeah, exactly. What would you say about social media in terms of how you know communism and communist party pushes their agenda onto our um, young generation? Well, they, I'm sure that I don't know what they're doing behind the scenes, but I'm sure that they're supporting anything that uh, pushes the idea that people are victims, that divides people, that encourages the tribalism that we see today, instead of. Uh, the kind of ideas that our young people need to learn about individualism, about rationality, about freedom, and how do we maintain that? Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, another channel that we have um, in the U.S. is, you know, just education and, you know, the public universities and public schools. How would you, um, I guess, approach the issue of the, the um, Confucius Institutes that's established within these, you know, very... Um, you know, educational systems that we have on our youths? Well, you know, it's been, it's been uh, exposed that the Confucius Institutes are a place to push propaganda for the CCP. Uh, I, I was involved with the National Association of Scholars for many years, and they were the first ones to show that. And so they need to be defunded. They need to be gotten off of American campuses. Yeah, so are you aware of, like, any other, you know, forms of the Confucius Institute because now they have been outed, or do you... Do you think? You know, I, I thought that I had read that there was a new uh, twist that they've been doing, a new organization. Is that the case? Yeah, they are doing twists, but, like, yeah, they're very careful right now. That's the thing. Yeah, they I want see. to make sure that no one sees it as, like, the Confucius Institute anymore. Yeah. So they want to, like, push away from that. But um, I would say they're pushing their channels towards more, like, you know, entertainment, social media. Mm -hmm. And, you know, obviously the big topic here is TikTok, mm -hmm. um, all the curated videos and such. What do you have to say about that? Like just TikTok, I'm, I'm yeah. very wary of TikTok. Yeah. I think that only somebody who it knows what they're looking at and can really judge whether it's something that's influencing them or not should even be looking at that thing. It's certainly not good for young people. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's a lot of people that just can't control themselves and is always on TikTok. And, you know, the Communist Party is collecting information and such. And that's another channel for the Communist Party to get to them, you know, yeah. just an external threat. Um, with that, what would you want to say to the young people out there and those who want to support the, you know, the movement, the new federal state of China, um, to make sure that democracy gets around the world? Get yourself educated. Learn how to think for yourself. 
how to read things very well, know what the ideas are, the important ideas that are influencing you in the world, and be able to identify them in all respects, whether it's in the news media, in art, in movies, or anything like that, so you can keep your mind under your own control. Yes, absolutely. I agree with that. So um, would you like to talk more about your Reliance College and what you're pushing for around the country and what your goals are within the next five or ten years? Sure. Well, we've been, we've been running a summer program, a week-long summer program for 13 years in which we use optimal educational methods. And we encourage, we help students become very excellent at thinking straight, thinking for themselves, and knowing what the great ideas are. Um, now we're working on opening a new college in 2025. We want to help people become entrepreneurs of their own life. And we're, we've got it put together in all respects, both practical and intellectual for them. All right, perfect. Thank you so much. This is such an amazing cause. We need to make sure our youth is guided in the right direction. All right, thank you so thank much you. again, Martha. Thank you. Bye-bye.